this is going to start off kind of randomly because I didn't vlog like the rest of what I did today. It wasn't that interesting or it's it's not things I haven't like shown in a vlog before. But I did want to vlog something that I have shown before that you guys seem to enjoy when I included it last time. And that is relaxing, sped up, folding laundry. These can be very calming and also kind of motivational to watch. You know, it makes you want to go and fold laundry. So I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> Let's get started. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I really need to think of a more creative way to start off new days in these vlogs because I always end up saying the same thing. I'm like, hey guys, I'm heading out today. Thought I'd bring you along. That's exactly what's happening today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to an art gallery. I might get some large, who knows what the day will bring. This morning I was like really struggling with choosing an outfit. So this is what I settled on. I tried this on and then I think two other outfits and then I came back to this, but I was trying to figure out an outfit that was a little bit different because I thought, oh, maybe I can get a photo of my outfit for Instagram. And I was actually trying on, I have to show you guys. Do any of you guys remember this jacket? This is, this is from 2009. 11 2012 yeah I've had it for quite a long time and I was thinking I would wear it in a photo because it's a really nice jacket and I want to kind of start wearing it again I tried it on with this skirt that I'm wearing which I really like and then this tennis skirt so I put that outfit together because it looks quite different to anything I've posted on my feed recently and I know like some people will be like oh why are you just why are you dressing for your feed like who cares anyway like if I can get a, a nice outfit photo today I will because you know may as well especially because my Instagram game sucks like I don't post enough when I had this outfit on all I could think was I do not feel comfortable in this like mentally comfortable this does not feel like me this does not feel like my style it's my old style sometimes I feel like I have to wear a certain style because I feel like you guys like it or you expect it because I'm very well known for like wearing tennis skirts and things but I feel like that's kind of getting a bit old that's like my older style now so that was kind of an interesting revelation I was like wow I really don't want to wear this yeah here's to like embracing new style this is today's outfit. My hair is like not participating today. It's been really annoying. I like tried to put some more curls in it because they'd all fallen out and whatever. Anyway, oh, I got a recently cut as well. Remember how in my last vlog, I was complaining how it's too long. I got a trim, probably can't tell, but I did. And now the ends are like so fresh and thick. I love it, so. Got to do it. Oh, they're getting brighter. Maybe I should turn them off. <laughs> should I turn it off? I better turn it off. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, being a rebel. These are my favorite. Most of these, in fact, I don't think any of these contain fish, which is amazing. I like triple, triple checked the ingredients. I can't, I don't know about all of these that are here, but I'm gonna double check them now because I got a couple last time and they were so good. The bookie is like ugh, one of my favorite things. Okay, I'm gonna check these, see how I go. Oh, 
So we just checked into our hotel. We're staying at Treasury on Collins. Never stayed here before. We're actually going to grab lunch before we go to our room. Oh, Holly's my sister. She's looking at the snacks. So this is the lounge that I think like all guests have access to. And it's got a bunch of snacks. Ooh, sesame snacks. And pastries. Pretzels. So nice. Oh, I love those lamps. Very me. These gold bars just caught my eye. Oh, they're heavy. Oh, wait, they're kind of like plastic. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. machine we just came up to our room we've been out kind of you know running errands and stuff got lunch so yeah we're back and yes here's the bathroom I'll just give you guys an overview very nice oh yeah kombucha too. if you're in Australia if you're in Australia this low low bros ginger and lemon is the best one. Oh, okay that was that's great thanks we got our Starburst for snacks for when we're oh did I mention that I don't know if I mentioned this but we're here to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child that's why we're in Melbourne so these are our snacks we got two because it was like a deal for two and yeah these ones are the reformulated ones these are vegan friendly but just pointing it out I'm not saying for like recipes in every country but specifically here in Australia these are um, these are good for me to eat so yay and they're also my favorite kind and I'll just give you guys another quick pan I don't want to do like a long room tour because they can be a bit boring but just an overview so you guys can get an idea of where we're staying. We usually stay at the Grand Hyatt, but we wanted to try this place because it looks really cute and a bit different. So we're just going to relax for the rest of the afternoon before we get ready to go to Harry Potter. I feel like I look really scraggly because it's been kind of raining. I don't know how my hair's holding up, but this is my airport travel outfit. I just wore my hair in Preston, long sleeve, my choker and like leggings and sneakers, just comfy, nothing too exciting. And I also had my cap. But that's about it guys. So I'll check in with you again um, later. Oh, this background's gonna be so messy. Lighting sucks, awesome. Okay, hey guys, so don't mind the mess in the background. Um, yeah, the packing cubes and stuff. Uh, but this is my outfit for tonight. This is like my typical, like going to the theater or like going to a show outfit because it's this um, stretchy dress so it doesn't dig in at my waist when I was sitting down for a long time. It's just this ASOS pinafore dress. I've got a like mock neck long sleeve top underneath my little Hedwig pin. I'm not really doing anything else, like not really any hair accessories or anything, uh, but I just have some of my like usual rings on. And I've got some opaque black tights. It's a little colder here in Melbourne than it is in Sydney. I'm also gonna bring a cardigan just in case I get too cold. But yeah, and then black loafers and my bag, which is makes the look, just gotta pull the rest of my stuff in it. But yeah, my crossbody sans beast bag. So um, why do I look so weird in this lighting? I swear I look so weird. Um, we're going out for quick a quick dinner. We're actually, oh, I feel like we're a bit behind schedule, so I probably should stop talking, but we're going out for dinner and then uh, we're gonna head to the theater, pick up our tickets. See ya, I'll uh, catch you guys again soon, maybe at dinner. So you go here, we're like, do you have to like, no. Make one up. This is the best. Like, it was such an ordeal getting these tickets. I had to call to get them, but it was totally worth it. Yeah, she's heading to a story, 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 story. Over here, <laughs> Over here story. I'm putting a snitch. Oh, very nice. Snitch flying over. <laughs> very nice. You guys, can you see the floating hat? Floating hat right there. Just 
given a free pin. It says keep keep the secrets. Okay, no, I'm I'm 100 percent certain the camera's making my um my like blush look weird. Oh, I think I just made the exposure lower. Okay, that was what. Okay, there we go. So we just got back from part one. I'm not going to give like a detailed review and also because keep the secrets. I, I showed this earlier, but I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, but yeah, part one, I'm not going to spoil part two either. So don't worry guys, no spoilers will be in this vlog at all. I'm not, I'm going to be very, very vague. Really loved it. Super entertaining, amazing effects. I'm not even going to specify. Okay. There is one very vague one I'll specify and it's to do with the fireplace. If you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. The fireplace thing, amazing. And also the thing that happens at the end of part one, freaking amazing, especially because of the seats that we were in. The effects were like the best part for me the whole time I'm sitting there. I'm trying to figure out how they did everything and just thinking about how much I would love a backstage tour, like so cool. And yeah, acting is, that's the thing. I don't, I don't really have anything to say about the acting or the story. It was just really entertaining, really fun. They did a great job. So excited for part two tomorrow night. We did decide to break it up and see it over two nights just because um, my back would get sore. I feel like if I was sitting for so long, just within one day, it just feels a bit more comfortable that way. And then, you know, we have something to look forward to at the end of each day. Melbourne day two tomorrow. So I will check in with you guys again then. I'm gonna have a shower now and wash off my makeup. Oh, can't wait. Hey guys, so Melbourne day two. And here's my outfit. All pieces that I've shown before in like various videos and stuff. My opening ceremony, top same bag as last night and then my favorite weekday jeans i really don't like this mirror i feel like it's just it's i don't know it's unflattering oh and then i've got my quick release belt on as well just like cinch the waist a bit and my uh, public desire chunky sneakers and that is today's look we're gonna go get lunch at this place called henry's burgers it's like all plant-based vegan friendly burger place looks really good and then we might go i don't know see what else is where is it? It's in like Fitzroy, right? I'm not very familiar with the Melbourne suburbs. Oh, and then I've got my Gucci sunglasses as well. So we're gonna get going now and then we'll catch you guys when we get there. girls and boys and sadly they don't have the soft serve anymore but I just got the vanilla ice cream with uh, the chop chop coating and um, nuts I'm guessing those are hazelnuts yeah and I asked about the soft serve and they just said it was too difficult so that's to be expected because I feel like soft serve is notorious for being difficult Holly got a sundae like it's like peanut butter right peanut, peanut butter, butter gelato Hey again guys, so I just realized I like did not vlog anything today except food pretty much. But yeah, we just like went to the burger place and didn't really do much else. Kind of came back and just chilled in the hotel room. God, this lighting is so bad. Ugh. Anyway, this is my outfit for night two. I just decided to mix it up a little bit. I've got my custom split blazer that my friend kindly made for me. I'll link her Instagram below. Headwig pin again, same bag. All oh, these are my little like high-waisted, like A-line shorts, tights and loafers again. And oh yeah, these little pearl hair clips because I felt the outfit was kind of, I don't know, lacking. That's the look. It's actually very comfy. And now we're gonna um, go to Smith and Daughter for dinner. I'm not even in front of the mirror now. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. Oh, I need to put on my rings as well. Okay, let's go. We're here at, oh gosh, so focusing, we're here at Smith and Daughter's for dinner. Smith and Daughter's is pretty iconic, uh, but yeah, it is fully vegan. So we're gonna order some dinner. This yolk is like. Whoa, oh my god. Got a wall. It has like a skin. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa, Holly, you gotta watch. I 
finally got the um, Jinx and Tonic that I filmed earlier. So it's like one of the two female drinks you can get. It's bubbly, sweet, and delicious. <laughs> and we're ready for part two. I'm so excited. I'm already ready to go see the second time. Hey guys, so we are back from the Cursed Child and it was so good. I'm not like great at giving reviews. I think this is what I said last night, but the special effects were so good. By far like the best part of it. They totally decked out the whole theater as well, which is so cool. Um, the carpet, the wallpaper, the light fixtures. I didn't realize it was all Harry Potter themed. Highly recommend you go see it. This morning we are checking out the breakfast buffet because we're gonna get lunch a bit later. And I just got some cereal and fruit. That's it. <laughs> Not very exciting. And we're just seated here near the window. But I love this little upstairs area. It's so nice. Really cute. Oh, they have these rice sticks. I always wanted to try these. Hmm. We're at Pancake Parlor. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. Ooh, plant based menu. This is very cozy. I love booth places like this. Here's the vegan cheese and potato pancake. And look at the butter on top, it's so cute. This looks so good. Here are our sweet pancakes. I got the Bavarian spiced apple and Holly got the lemon and sugar. Apparently these are gluten free as well. I'm interested to see how they stack up. <laughs> so yeah, let's give these a taste. These are really good, really fluffy. No shade to gluten free things, but sometimes it can be kind of gummy, you know? This is really good, really fluffy. What's up guys? So I am going to kind of clean and restore these shoes. I recently cleaned up my old Air Force Ones that I've had for like seven years. And then for these ones, I thought I would maybe document the journey and show you guys how I'm gonna clean them. You can see, so I've had them in storage. They've got a lot of these kind of moldy-ish looking patches, really, really dusty. And the midsole's all really cracked. And then I'm also going to use my Angelus sole whitener to whiten this part of the sole. But anyway, first step is I'm going to remove the laces and then I have just some soapy water. And with a soft fingernail scrubby brush, I'm going to scrub these and get them nice and clean. And then after that, I might put them into the washing machine, which I know sounds scary, but We'll just, we'll get to that. Don't worry, I've done it before and it's, it's actually very safe if you don't do it too often. So here's another look. Yep, these have definitely uh, lived up to their name. done scrubbing definitely look a bit better now but anyway I'm going to wash these by putting them in separate delicates laundry bags and then I'm going to put a bunch of towels in the load with them to kind of pad them so they're not just knocking against each other and then I'm going to put them on a cold hand wash cycle I believe it's 45 minutes and then I'm going to put a timer on my phone so I can come back as soon as it's done and I'm going to take them out and let them air dry keep in mind that not all sneakers will react the same to washing so always do your research and just be wary of that you know don't just copy what I'm doing I actually watched a whole bunch of tutorials on YouTube that's how I learned how to do this so and I will put the laces in with these as well I'll just have to be cautious that they don't get caught on the velcro after that I think I'm going to strip this paint here and then I'm going to apply the sole whitening treatment stuff to these and then we'll take it from there nice and sunny at the moment um, it's currently spring here so it's not too hot yet 
I wouldn't do this if it was the middle of summer because if you put your shoes out in really, really hot sunny weather, it can damage the glue. So I'm gonna put these out like this for one hour and then I'm gonna come and flip them over. Wow, it already looks so much better. So it's an hour later and now we're gonna flip it. Okay, and I'll be back in another hour. Okay, hey guys, so we are back. Shoe restoration part, I don't know. I ordered some paints. I contacted this company because it's based in Australia. It's uh, the Sneaker Laundry and I asked them what I needed to fix these shoes and they told me I needed these paints. So hopefully they work. I know this area is notorious for being very difficult to paint because it's flexible and it's probably gonna chip again, but I figure I'm just gonna try once and if they start to crack and chip and peel, I'll just strip it and paint it again sometime in the future. I'm gonna start by stripping the existing paint off these shoes using some nail polish remover. Apparently that's what gets it off. And then we're going to, well, we're gonna just start with that and then see how we go. Okay, this actually took ages, it felt like, but most of the cracked white paint is gone. And now I'm going to try painting it. It looks better on camera, but it's pretty streaky, so I reckon we're gonna have to do at least three. The taping worked mostly pretty well, but it didn't really work very well here, especially because this is a textured surface. So the tape couldn't fully adhere and some of the paint has slipped through. Shouldn't be a major issue. I might just have to go over these little bits with some nail polish remover a couple of times and see if I can get that off. Mm -hmm. 